Oh, welcome to an update on my city Thessarion. It's been a very long time since I actually did one of these update videos, and the reason why I'm doing one right now is that my city is almost completed. Now, I do not know for sure yet if I will make a downloadable version of the map available at the end. But actually, guys, that's exactly where you come into play and where you can help me make up my mind. So if we can get a million likes on this video, then I promise you that I will make a downloadable version of the map available. So just press that like button, <laughs> guys. Okay, let's get serious and start. Now this part here is actually not that new, but not, not many people have actually seen it. It was built three years ago, right after I visited this typical medievalish town in central Germany called Quedlinburg that I made a video about, where I was massively inspired. And when I returned, I completely overhauled everything I did up until then. I completely reinvented my style and started building these houses right next to each other. Before that, I would usually build the houses with a lot of space in between the buildings. And being in Quellenburg, I realized that that would make no sense in a realistic medieval city. So with this new style, I started at the top of the hill at the castle and slowly wound my way down until I reached the bottom. Come to speak of the castle, I actually started to renovate it and make it more realistic, more practical, and also not so outdated anymore. One of the castle's renovations includes something in correlation with one of my recent tutorials, which are hoardings. I added them to defensive walls and towers at strategical locations. I also redid the courtyard area, and I actually started to build interior. Believe it or not. I know, w when pigs fly, when madness builds interior. The day has come, actually with the help of two friends, but, but the day has come and I've started to build interior. One major update is also that the cathedral is finally, finally completely surrounded by buildings, or at least so completely surrounded by things that I built there, that are supposed to be there, opposed to the prior green, grassy nothingness around it. Something that I struggled with was the square in front of the cathedral. The obvious choice was of course a market square, but I don't particularly like the looks of market squares in Minecraft, so what I decided to go for is to actually have the alternative to a market square, having a market street. I still need to add a little bit more, but generally this area is completed. Also, as you can see, the rest of the surroundings are very similar to what we what you saw uphill at the castle. So the same housing style was used. Something that I decided to keep without adjusting it too much was actually the old town. Now this dates back five or six years. So it's very, very old. Of course, I had to adjust it a little bit. I had to replace some blocks or mix it up a little bit, but Aside from that, I tried to keep it the same, except for the outermost buildings of the old town that I replaced with a wall, simply because it seemed more logical to have a wall there to protect it. The last thing I want to show you is the riverside and the harbor. Now as we fly by you'll realize that the harbor itself isn't that big. That's because the city is landlocked. There are of course docks, and there are plenty of them, but it's not like it's a huge enormous harbor. The reason for that is because the city is landlocked and the river of course flows into the ocean, so there is the possibility of having a trade route there. But still, most of the trade will be from trade routes on land. This could serve as a kind of small hub, but not as a huge trading post like, for example, a city at, located at the ocean would be. Therefore, I built a few docks and, for example, a small shipyard even, but I decided not to have this huge commercial harbor area, especially because, for example, the river isn't even broad enough to support such a huge area. So I kept it a little bit more humble. 
Well, and that's pretty much it. Now, of course, I didn't show you every single area of the city, and of course, I didn't show you the areas that aren't finished yet, but I don't think it will take me longer than another two months to completely finish the city. And uh, remember, if you leave uh, a million likes on this video, then I will make a download link for this whole city. So, yeah, please go ahead and like the video or whatever. All right, guys, so uh, yeah, with that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and with that, there is nothing left to say for me, but see you next time. Fare thee well.